Keep my fingers on the cone down. Say, open your mouth. I put my thumb in the back molar region. <laughs> Bite on my finger gently. Hold the anterior half of the mandible with the rest of my fingers. Um, like this. I'm going to have an axis of rotation on my hand here to do a circular movement with my hand. That means I'm bringing down the molars and up the symphysis. And that is going to bring the condal down and forward. So I keep my fingers here and I just do that. Down and forward. That is going to produce a slight distraction on the joint. A millimeter? Sorry? About a millimeter? And some, yes, not more than that. <clears throat> and sometimes it's even less. Huh? Mm -hmm. Just enough to feel that you have a good grip. And make sure that you tell the patient, lift your hand if you feel discomfort. Okay. So the first initial is bite on my finger. It's going to be a kind of a little bit of a long axis distraction. No pain. But now I'm going to tell the patient, bring your mandible forward. And I guide the mandible forward. Relax. You see? I just guide the mandible forward. Once I say go with the mandible forward, now I say go with the mandible back. Go with the ouch! Went back. When I took the condyle back, don't forget that the posterior ligament starts on the posterior wall of the fossa mm -hmm. and moves up and forward on the disc. So it can be traumatized between the condyle and the posterior wall of the fossa. Right. Gently, gently go forward, active. Go forward, back. I just guide the mandible. Let it go back. <coughs> you see the condor by mm -hmm. jumping back and forth? So when he goes back, I hold it back. No pain. Good. But now my free hand goes below the angle of the mandible. The condor is back. Mm -hmm. And now I do kind of raise your hand if you feel any discomfort. I do a little bringing the, ma the mandibular molars down and the chin up just to bring the condor slightly down. Relieve intra-joint irritation. Release. Maybe a couple of times, six times. No discomfort. Don't forget to raise your hand if you feel any discomfort. Now bring your mandible forward. You can feel the joint space widening. Take your mandible back. And I guide it back gentle with finesse. No discomfort going back. Now I say, okay, now I'm going to take your mandible back, put my hand in the angle of the mandible, I compress cranially from the angle of the mandible and the mandible in the front going down. It's kind of a lever and right. They're proportional. So if he has protrusion on the midline, he has good lateral excursion to the left. Looks lateral excursion to the right. What do I expect to find? Open your mouth. A nice wide opening of the mandible on the midline. Mm -hmm. Proportional to the lateral excursion. Go back and release. So once you finish with the pain map, you do the four to one ratio. You follow?